A huge piece of news dropped today validating earlier leaks. Just a quick refresher, earlier this year Kotaku stated that PS Now would get a download option later this year in late September and here we are in late September and it's official. PlayStation announced today that you can now download PlayStation 4 games and PS2 games on your console locally. For me this is big news and I'm surprised not more people are discussing this honestly. This is a big step for Sony and in one of my earlier videos I basically pointed out that Sony wants to compete with Xbox's Game Pass and a download option would help that cause. Moving on and getting into the details, this feature is only available in the US. I'm not sure if this includes Canada because sometimes they lump US and Canada together, but also I saw a PlayStation Canada tweet this out, getting my hopes up, but checking for myself, it doesn't seem to be the case, although they do state in their blog post that this feature will trickle out to players over the next few days, so if you don't see it right now, check back in a few days, you might have this feature on your PlayStation Now service and obviously I'm restricting this to US players. This feature will also not cover all games as Sony points out. It'll cover most PS4 games which is interesting for me personally. They highlight Bloodborne, God of War 3 Remastered, NBA 2K16 and Until Dawn as some of the downloadable options. Games that you have downloaded from the PlayStation Now service will support all user purchase DLCs, microtransactions and add-ons as well as PS4 Pro enhancements for people who have the PlayStation 4 Pro like myself. You can also transfer over your PlayStation Now saves to your PS4 locally. So if you played first on PlayStation Now and you saved your game on the PlayStation Now cloud service, you can transfer that to your local machine by transferring your save over from PlayStation Now cloud to PS Plus cloud and then over to your console locally. You will also not require PS Plus to play online on PS Now games that you've downloaded, which is pretty cool. I'm not a PS Now veteran, but if this has always been the case, that's pretty solid of Sony to do so. And finally, they also state that you will need to be able to connect to PlayStation Now every couple of days to verify your subscription, which makes sense. This is a huge step for Sony. This is clearly their prime service they want to push forward, and this will help a lot. This step that they've taken will help a lot. One thing I do want to note is that they say PS2 games are remastered for the PS4. This is obviously public information. The PS2 classics, they say that they're remastered for the PS4. But last year, we found out some simple wrapper code made the games compatible with the PS4. Now for me, I'm not sure how this works without some type of emulator, which is basically what should be there to play these PS2 games. Maybe I need to do some more research on this topic. The next step with this service, and let me be clear by saying service, is PS3 and PS1 downloadable games. I think this is their vision. I don't think Sony will offer traditional backwards compatibility anymore, as in you'll be able to basically insert your disc and go ahead and play. PS Now is their initiative going forward. I also heard a lot of people wondering why PS3 games weren't a downloadable option and this is a reasonable question I guess but people need to realize that there is no magic to this process. To play PS3 games locally on the PS4 they would require some type of emulator or whatever process they decided to take with the PS2 classics which I still think is an emulator to play them locally. If PS3 games were downloadable as well then Sony would have basically just announced PS3 backwards compatibility as well. But that's it for the video let me know what you guys think down in the comments below what do you guys think about ps now finally getting a downloadable option does this make you want to subscribe to the service if you haven't done so already let me know all of that down in the comments below and if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button it really supports the page and i really appreciate it and subscribe if you're new i got new videos every other day except days that there's something really interesting and i'll just post the video on that day i'll check you guys out on the next one and welcome back to the after show this is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below if you're old welcome back if you're new, a welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to comment the cloud emoji. We have never done the cloud emoji, and this is obviously in reference to PS Now Cloud, their cloud service, and you know, you can throw a PS Plus cloud service in there as well. But destroy the comment section with the cloud emoji, and I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays at the end of my videos. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one.